In this video lesson, we'll continue learning the four-step process for using MBS in project development. In our previous video lessons, you learned steps one and two of the MBS planning and financing stages. So in this video lesson, we'll move on to steps three and four, where you'll learn about implementation, monitoring, and evaluation. Step three is implementation. After creating a plan in step one and raising funds in step two, now in step three, we move on to implement the plan using the funds raised. The implementation process has three key phases to ensure the proper integration of MBS. First is forming the project team. The second is procurement and supervision. And the third is communication among stakeholders. The first phase of implementation is to form the project team. And MBS projects typically require assembling a team of experts from different fields to help with implementation. MBS projects often require experts with very different areas of expertise compared to those involved in conventional infrastructure projects. So the project implementation may need botanists, ecologists, or indigenous knowledge specialists. And in the MBS team formation phase, an important aspect is determining the required expertise for the project. What types of expertise needs to be outsourced to other businesses or individual consultants. And then preparing the contracts and terms of reference for these consultants involved. It's an important aspect of the MBS team formation phase. And it's also important to keep in mind any requirements of funding agencies if MBS project is funded externally. For example, the funder might have guidelines related to gender equity, environmental and social safeguards, or governance arrangements that you need to take into account. In the case of the Shinhama Ekoton, experts with unusual areas of expertise were involved. Next, we move on to the procurement phase of the project implementation, which for MBS requires special attention because understanding the potential impacts of introducing or changing the management of nature in a particular spot site is not as simple as understanding the impacts of a conventional gray infrastructure project. Any human intervention in an ecosystem has the potential to harm the ecological balance. Key procurement issues you must be very careful with are choosing climate adapted species, avoiding introducing harmful alien invasive species, and the ecosystem maintenance requirements. For example, understanding if regular management is needed to ensure the ecosystem survives and continues functioning as intended. As the final implementation phase, we have communication among stakeholders which is critical to successfully integrating MBS into the relevant planning processes. For example, land use management plans or climate change adaptation plans. Through information sharing, you can also expect to receive feedback and find ways to improve your NBS. Monitoring, integration, and implementation of MBS into climate change adaptation and development strategies will also benefit from collaboration among different sector agencies, local governments, civil society organizations, and private sector actors. Establish clear responsibilities in monitoring MBS approaches and facilitate the effective coordination among actors for efficiently designing, financing, and implementing monitoring systems to track MBS. In the case of the Shinhama Ecotone, the local community was very active in maintaining the Ecotone. There was continuous communication and collaboration between the local community and the researchers who were observing the ecosystem.命の安全命っていうかね大事じゃないですかと先生に申し上げたんですそうしたら先生がねいや分かりましたとね、いうことでいろいろお酒を私手に持ってたね資料を持ってきて海辺の自然ってこんな貴重なもんですよということでそれを
あと何かあれば私たち勉強会とかね皆さんに説明会とかしますからということでそれから平福先生と平福先生の仲間たちとの交流が始まったんですけどねこの海岸にとかこの自然はねまあこの一帯にどこにでもあるもんだろうとそういう特別なものではないと思ってたわけですよ。えー、だから先生たちが調査する中でねここはあの海岸にが唯一残っているとところだしその貴重なあの一度絶滅したやつが復活しているとかねそういう話だんだん聞く中であそ,そんなに貴重なものがあったのかっていうことを再認識したっていうか再認識と認識ですよねそれで初めて知ったっていうかいろいろ計画があったもんだからまあどんもりしたりねいろいろある中であと伐採する必要も出てきてるんですよね。それれについてもやっぱり調整が側に対してできるだけ残してくれっていうかねそういう働きかけもあの先生方と一緒に町内がやってきたっていうかやっぱり学者の先生方だけじゃなくてやっぱり地元の住民の声も届けるっていうかね行政側にそれがすごく良かったのかなと思いますんで。Another essential consideration for MBS practitioners in the implementation step is to understand how climate change may induce ecosystem changes. So careful monitoring, analysis, and adaptive management are essential. Adaptive management is defined as a structured iterative process of decision making in the face of uncertainty, with an aim to reduce uncertainty over time. All of the stakeholders need to keep learning about the system-wide processes and how to respond to systemic changes and adapt the MBS accordingly. This may also include considerations of the long-term sustainability impacts of the MBS that may occur at larger scales, both over time and in geographic space. Here we can see a visual representation of the adaptive management cycle. The use of adaptive experiments involves a structured trial and error process of implementing activities and monitoring to find out what works and what doesn't work. Adaptive governance involves using the outcomes of these adaptive experiments in the subsequent planning phases. Step number four, the final step of the process, is monitoring and evaluation. It is vital to develop a monitoring and evaluation plan before the implementation, and this plan should be used throughout the entire project cycle. A monitoring and evaluation plan that involves stakeholders in verifying the outcomes and learning will ensure that the MBS intervention is on track for implementation and will help manage the positive and negative long-term impacts. Dedicate time to understanding whether the MBS intervention effectively addresses the societal challenges. Although it can sometimes be perceived as an administrative burden, this is a powerful approach. All monitoring plans should be established in advance of the implementation. Where required, monitoring and evaluation may need to be independent and conducted by a third party. In the case of self-verification or second party verification, it's highly recommended that an external review or evaluation of the initiative be carried out, ideally at the midterm and at the end. In the case of the Shinhama Ecoton, a network of researchers frequently monitored the ecosystem even before the dike was built and closely observed the changes. And by doing so, they understood how the ecosystem, once destroyed by the tsunami, was recovering. And they used this information to maintain the Ecoton. With this, we reach the end of this video lesson on the four-step process to use MBS in your project development. What were those steps? Step one was planning, step two was financing, step three, implementation, and step four was monitoring and evaluation. You have now learned about the process and studied cases and examples of communities that have successfully applied MBS. Now it's your turn to take this knowledge and start planning and implementing your own MBS in your policy area and in your community.